Hi and hello once again. So we will continue our discussion on uh, per unit systems and we are here on our change of base formula and to the derivation of the three phase per unit formulas. Okay, let us move forward to the change of base formula. So when you say base, there is a synonym here that I incorporated on this uh, uh, slide that new is equal to base, that is new value. Old value is equal to given, and that is also rated. So these are the synonyms. So it means the same definition. Okay, when you have the change of base formula, you always uh, apply this one on the percentage reactances. That is uh, the uh, percentage reactances of your generators or transformers or even your loads. If you encounter percentage reactances and you want to change it, to its corresponding new value, we make use of this formula, which is the change of base formula. I have a mnemonic here that I usually use in class. I call this as my ah. forever formula. In love life, there's no forever or sometimes, but on power system analysis, there is an forever formula. Why it is called forever? Because one value stands alone here whatever happens to the calculation that is the s base here so how can you uh, uh, create this formula without of course memorizing too much variables so what you will do sorry for that what you will do is because that is a forever formula so i just want i have only one mnemonic okay to uh, memorize this okay here you have x new is equal to x old. So very easy to, uh, to remember. You have two quantities here. One quantity involved a squared and the other is not. So your S base or your forever always here at the numerator side of there's no raised exponent. So if you have, you have your S base here, definitely you have your S given. You have only two values. So given is also equal to old, base is equal to new. And then just cross multiply these variables here because the, uh, the other parenthesis here which has the raised to squared is your voltage. So this is V given. And this one at the denominator is V base, definitely. So you have the forever formula. Please take note, we will make use of this when we go to the calculations on symmetrical faults, which is another lesson for power system analysis so this is just a refresher but we need to use this because when we model a power system in per unit we need to have this very very useful formula actually you have only two formulas that you need to memorize the first is the per unit actual over the base and the second is this change of base formula and please take note from our last slide since we use okay a uh, ideal transformer, the powers P, Q, and S are the same. Okay, there's a note here before we start our solution. And either the, uh, the uh, um, uh, single pace and the three pace uh, per unit analysis is, you need to remember what is your S base. Actually, S base is constant all throughout since the input power will be equal to the output power anywhere in the system. And your V-base will change. So definitely simply because what is the purpose of your transformer if you done, did not step up, step down parameters? So please take note, S-base is the forever value, whatever happens to the system. While the voltages per base or per region is not the same. So it depends on the given. And please take note, these are the... Uh, so-called uh, motto in power system analysis or per unit analysis. Please take note, S base is constant while V base changes. Okay, now for three phase per unit analysis, we have this look spam formulas. This formulas here is from your uh, balance polyphase, right? So in terms of line to line, and line to neutral, there are square root of 3, V line to line, square root of 3 times V line to neutral. And the total apparent power, since they are balanced, 
it is equal to uh, to uh, three times per pace of the powers. So in terms of the bases, so you just have your the base here in the line to line and line to neutral, and here the total st must be three pace, simply because when you say three pace total overall, and then you have s phase s single phase. Now we uh, arrange the the terms. So that you can have the VL line to neutral way. So therefore, it will become V line to line over square root of 3. So in the other part here, your S single pace is equal to ST3 pace. You divide it by 3. So you have equations 1 and equations 2. So you need to substitute the values on Z base here for the single phase. This is from the single phase uh, base formulas. From the uh, uh, from the last slide, so Z base is equal to V line to neutral all over I base, and then Z base is equal to V line to neutral squared over S single pace base, and I base is equal to S single pace base all over V line to neutral base. So substitute equation one and equation two respectively on these equations, and then we will develop on the next slide the three pace per unit analysis formulas. So, from there, please stay tuned. Hello! Let us have our conclusion on the basic fundamentals of power system analysis on per unit systems, which is we are on, on the three pace per unit formulas. From our last slide, we uh, have some equations on the single phase lines or single phase per unit analysis. And then uh, we have equations 1 and 2. And we, uh, we need to substitute those equations 1 and 2 from the last slide. Okay, you can recall that. And substitute to the formulas of I base, Z base formulas from the single pace systems. And hence, we have these three formulas here. Okay, so what did you notice on these formulas? You can notice that all of the uh, all of the formulas now is in terms of per three pace per unit analysis in terms of s total and line to line values of the base computations and thus you can see all the formulas here if there's a square root of three on the denominator it simply means that you are on three pace per unit analysis Except for this formula. This formula is very flexible actually. You can also use this in a line to neutral basis in terms of base and then S, yes, single pace. Base. So this V line to neutral base. If you squared it and you divide it by S single pace base and a single pace system, they're the same. And here it is in a line to line value and your S must be in S total. So therefore, you need to have a checklist or checking before you solve the problem on three phase systems okay first your s base okay must be s total your voltages along the system must be line to line or the apparent powers on your given must be total v base must be line to line they're the same all of them are the same and your z load okay must be y connected per phase since as you can see here we are in terms of per pace basis, therefore we need to treat it as balance and all of the loads must be in per pace basis and with respect, with reference to phase A of the system. Okay, now the conditions for single pace and three pace per unit analysis. So we can consider this. If you're ready on your PUEC or per unit equivalent circuit, which is your AC circuit, your S3 pace Per unit is actually all over the base. Yes, that's correct. In terms of single pace, you have you need to multiply by 3. You can see here that 3 is cancelled out. And thus, we can have this relationship that if you're already on your PUEC, you treat your 3 pace system as is in terms of single pace systems. So, there's no multiplier by 3 here. Okay? So, it is simply VI conjugate. So, VPU times IPU conjugate. And by the way, of course, they are in terms of vectors. And one more thing, if you want to get the S actual here, if you want to get the actual value, 
Go back to the per unit is equal to actual all over the base. And then your S, base, S actual is per unit times base. So therefore, S per unit times whatever your favorite number is, which is your S base. So you can get the actual value here. And definitely, this is already automatic as 3 pace or total. You do not need to multiply it by 3. Simply because in per unit, the uh, value of the 3 here will cancel out in terms of single pace. And thus, in per unit, the circuit is treated as like as an AC circuit and then use AC circuits to get the variables that you need or required on the system. So thus, we complete all of the formulas for 3 pace and uh, single pace per, uh, per unit systems, then we can now uh, solve some problems. So, again, thank you very much and stay tuned. God bless.